Hi YouTube, today I'm opening the FN Herstal P90. Here's the front of the box. This gun shoots at 255 FPS. Let's open it. Dun, 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 dun. Cool, first one you open the box, you're gonna get the instructions, which tells you how to load the BBs, how to charge the batteries, and how to turn it on fire position and safety on. Now we can open it. First we have the battery charger, the battery, we have an unjamming rod, and most unjamming rods have one side unjamming, one side cleaning, this one doesn't, it's just to unjam. And last but not least, we have the weapon itself, the P90, cool. First I'm just gonna talk about the gun. It has one tactical rail right here, it has two sling mounts, here and here. So the sling mounts are meant for, if you have a bandolier, you can connect one end here and here, and you can use the bandolier with your gun. Um, so the safety switch is here. When you do this, it's on safety, but you can't pull the trigger. When you do this, it's on full auto, and you can pull the trigger. And this gun doesn't have semi, it only has safety and full. To take the magazine out, you press these two buttons, you pull these two buttons back right here, lift the magazine and pull it out, and here's the magazine. And the magazine holds 500 six millimeter BBs, and six millimeters the size. And to load it, you can just pull this forward, fill it with BBs, push it back, and then you can put it back in. like that. Um, it has a little built-in sight right here, so if you don't have a red dot sight for it, or a scope for it or something, which it, it would look cool with a red dot sight, you could still aim on that one little sight. So the unjamming rod is, if you have a BB stuck in it, you just put the unjamming rod into the barrel, like this, and try to turn, touch the BB and then turn it and then pull it out and take the BB out. You don't have to take the magazine out to load the BBs. You can just still pull this back, put BBs in it, and then pull it forward. To load the battery in, which is cool, is the battery compartment is in the stock, which is easy to get to, and you don't, you don't need a screwdriver to open it. You just take this lever and pull it down, and then once the lever's pulled out, it unlocks it, then you can open the battery compartment. This is gonna be here, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your battery, and you're gonna connect it like this, and then put the battery in here, close this, and pull this lever up to lock it so the batteries can't come out. And then you can put it on fire, and let's, let's see if the battery's charged. Okay, it's not shooting fast enough, so that tells me the battery is charged, but not fully charged, not charged enough. So, since the battery is not fully charged, what I can do is I can just take the battery out. And then I would connect this to the charger, like this, and I plug it in the wall, and you wait five hours, that's how long it takes to charge it, and then you put, take it out and then you put it back into your gun and it should start shooting. Since this gun is not fully charged, um, I, I will plug it into the wall and charge it for five hours, which means I will have to shoot this gun tomorrow. And I wanna say two things about this gun. What I love about this gun is it's one of my favorite airsoft guns because it's super comfortable. Like one hand goes here and on the trigger. I'm not gonna put it on the trigger, but let's pretend my finger's on the trigger. You can do this and you can push it to your back as much as you want and I like to do that. It just feels comfortable for me, squishing it to my back. Um, and it's really big here for big hands or small hands. Um, and you can either put your hand here or here. So the other hand, it has a nice place to wrap your thumb around it and put it here like this and you can look around really easily, which I really like about this gun. I just like the P90 because I like how comfortable it is, and I'm great using it. What's interesting is the P90, it has this barrel that is cut like this is shorter. The barrel does have holes in it, so 
three most recommended attachments for the P90 is a laser, a laser pointer for more accuracy without aiming, a red dot sight, which I said a red dot sight would, would look really cool on a P90, or a flashlight, which a flashlight would still be kind of good good for a P90. A laser would be good for a P90 because a P90 is a close quarters combat gun. So you would always be turn, 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 turn. It's small, so close quarters combat is to like walk around a corner, walk around a corner, walk around a corner and shoot people really close. It's hard to aim ev every corner you go to. And like walk around a corner, aim, um, shoot, walk around a corner, aim, shoot, walk around a corner. So it's faster to use a laser because you can't aim. Aim, 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 aim. It's gonna be hard doing that. And look what I just noticed. This is for a red dot sight, and it has these two parts on the side, which don't look like tactical rails, but they are. Because they have the hole, the cut here. And you can take them off if you want to, because this is screw. But I just noticed there's the two parts, you see? And the hole in the middle. So I guess, since the laser and flashlights are about this long, I guess that's why they have these two parts here, so you could have like a laser and a flashlight and the red dot sight. So, I'll charge the battery and then I'll see you later when I'm shooting it. So, see you later YouTube. Okay YouTube, um, the gun is done charging and now I'm just gonna load my babies into it and we can shoot the target. So, I can take out the magazine. And now I can open this and take my BBs. And what I like about these BBs is they're biodegradable. So if you leave, if, when you shoot them on grass or mud, and if you just leave them out on the grass or the mud, um, they'll eventually just disappear. So that's what I like about these. So it's good for the environment, these BBs. Once you've done that, you can just open this cap and fill the magazine with BBs. Now I'm gonna shoot. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Bye YouTube, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Peace out.